Hi, this is Simon from Tokyo Productions and welcome to this quick tip tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro. And today I wanted to have a quick look at the overlay edit function, which is something that I think a lot of editors either don't use very much or simply don't know that it's there. But I think it's very useful and uh, well worth knowing about. So I've got a very basic sequence set up here. You can see just a few clips on it. And I'm going to come to the end of the timeline and just park the playhead there. Now you'll notice that I haven't got any tracks patched here and that's deliberate. I wanted to show you that it doesn't relate to track patching at all. Over on the left hand side here I'm selecting the video and the audio from this clip. So they're both selected. I want to edit them both into my sequence. So to do that I'm going to pick up the clip and I'm going to drag it onto the canvas and you'll notice that in doing so I have these various different options. I've got Overwrite, I've got Insert, I've got Replace, I've got Insert Before and After, which are very interesting. I won't talk about them here, but they're quite unusual and quite useful. But the one I want to talk about is Overlay. So I'm going to select that and release the mouse button. And you'll see that what that's done is it's put the video onto Video 1 and the audio onto Audio 1. So that's not terribly exciting but it means I didn't have to patch those tracks. Let me do something a little bit more different, which is to come to the end of this music track here. And let's do it again. So I want you to watch what happens with the audio here. In the normal course of events, you'd expect it to overwrite audio one, but let's look what happens. So drag it to the overlay and release. And what it does is again, it puts the video on video one and it drops the audio down onto audio two. So that's quite handy. Let's come back and edit it in just here. And let's again look what happens. So drag it onto overlay. And now what happens is it creates a new video track above my original one. And it again drops the audio down onto audio two to avoid overwriting anything. Let's have another look. Let's come to here, for example. And again, let's do it like so. And in this instance, it's made video two in order to avoid overwriting that clip on video one. And it's made audio three in order to avoid overwriting either of those clips on audio two. Let's come to the beginning and try it again. And there you go. As expected, it's putting everything in the neatest possible place, but so as to avoid any overwriting of any existing material. Let's undo that and do it one more time over here. So overlay. And I wanted to point out that if you're familiar with Final Cut Pro 10, this behavior is almost identical, if not entirely identical to the connect clip edit function. Again, it's just moving the clips to wherever is most economical, at the same time as making sure that nothing gets overwritten. But the difference in Final Cut 10 is that it will automatically make a connection to the clip on the primary storyline. But we can just as easily do something identical by selecting the clips and hitting Command G. And now those clips are connected in exactly the same way as they would be if we'd done the same thing in Final Cut Pro 10. And the difference, of course, here is that we can select non-contiguous clips and group them like that. And we've got a really complex arrangement. And we can hit Command-Shift-G and just simply undo that. And they're now no longer connected. So there you go. That's overlay editing in Premiere Pro. I hope that's been interesting and has encouraged you to try out what I think is a really useful editing function. Thanks very much indeed for watching and I hope to see you again another time.